Hello everyone and welcome to my 40,000 day hardcore world tour and with well over 10,000 hours in this world there's definitely a lot to see but before we get into it let's go over some rules that I have for my world this world is live streamed on twitch at 12 o'clock pacific standard time every single day for those of you guys who want to catch a live stream I don't use Limatica or any blueprints in order to help myself build I don't duplicate TNT sand concrete or string I also do not AFK in the world nor do I use any mob switches of any kind. Now time to go over the two biggest things. How I get player heads in my world and totems. Let's start with how I get player heads in my world. Utilizing a custom data pack for the wandering trader, I'm able to buy new micro blocks whenever available. These custom player heads can be found on minecraftheads.com where you can choose from a ton of different options. Once you found a head, scroll down, find the code and put it into your data pack. Now with the rules out the way, you guys can better understand the world tour. But before we get into it, consider leaving a like on the video. And if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing. I put a lot of hard work into this video, so if you guys don't have enough time to watch it all in one go, please leave the video running in the background because it really helps out the channel. So grab yourself a snack and grab yourself a drink. And without further ado, enjoy my 40,000 day hardcore world tour.
with five builds down, we still have another 32 more to go. You ain't seen nothing yet. But I'm going to change a little bit of the course of the video. We're going to go from bright, beautiful, and colorful over to something a little bit more dark. The Skulk Lands. Pretty cool, huh? Two wardens inside of a maze in a thieves school. It's a way to basically train how you can sneak throughout this labyrinth underneath me. A little bit of a maze where you have to dodge the two wardens in order to get all the loot. But this is not only just a school of thieves. This is also my overworld hub where I can connect up different parts of my build. This one's going to go out to my city. This one over here will go out to my steampunk area where my iron farm is. And behind this wall right here is an extremely cool minecart ride that's going to take us all the way out to the end. So enjoy.
pretty cool way to get to the end realm, huh? Let me show you guys a little bit around here before we head on into the actual end because there is a couple things that I want to show you guys. And did you notice any of the Easter eggs throughout the ride? There's definitely a few sprinkled in there. Before we head on inside, I hope you guys noticed there's a little bit of a Super Mario Kart track going on here, which I thought was extremely fun. We got Boo at the Chain Chomp over here. Doesn't have arms because Boo doesn't have arms. These are supposed to be bombs. A little bit of the micro block action here. Shy Guy and everything like that. I think this turned out absolutely fantastic. Really love this build. This was probably one of the funnest builds I ever got to do in Minecraft. And this was my second dragon ever done did. Really cool. But let me show you guys right above the actual end portal here. I have a little bit of the galaxy, like kind of like a solar system over here where we have aliens on Mars. We have earth over here with the ender dragon. And this guy being ejected out into space because he's sus. We have Uranus. If you know, you know. But I think it's about time for us to step on into the end portal. And I hope you guys enjoy. cool huh you guys are probably wondering what the heck this board is back here well let me show you this is all of the farms that i have in the world i probably have way more than this all of the mega builds that we're going to be going over in this entire world we've only gone through well probably about a quarter of them so far there's still lots to see over here this is just a continuation of this board over here this guy over here, this is my 1 million board. So everything that's in the millions. So we have our netherrack. I keep track of all the stats I have throughout the duration of everything that we got going on here. And then of course, every 5,000 days on our board right here. You guys are watching the 40,000 days. Oh, so that's another star on the board. Down here, I got a little bit more every year that I've had this world. Hopefully going to get that five year one. Uh, I actually forgot to go over this earlier. My rules about totem pop them, totem, totem pop them, totem poppins, hoping totem poppins, popping totems. There we go. Anyways, I have rules. Uh, I'll actually link a video so you guys can check that out. Uh, I've got a whole movie that explains it. Basically, I don't just slap on totems. I had to fight for my life in order to put on another totem. So yeah, I've actually haven't popped a totem since August of 2022 which is pretty cool. Then of course we've got our 100k on YouTube and then we got our 100k on Twitch. Obviously you guys already know that because I'm typically live streaming on Twitch. Now let me see if I can quickly land up up here. Let me, uh, I can't see it. Oh, I got it. First try. Anyways, check this out. Every single gateway has been opened up. I've actually killed the dragon like 23 times and I even killed the dragon without actually having an end. No end stone. No. 
And yeah, that's right. Since we don't duplicate TNT, that means we also completely dug out our entire end island, which is pretty cool. Speaking about pretty cool, this next segment is going to be absolutely insane. There is a lot of builds in this next section. So if you guys like builds and you like color, well, buckle up because this is about to get real intense. Not too bad. Thought I'd grab myself a little bit of a snack while you guys watched all that. But I haven't showed you guys where I live yet. Because obviously every hardcore player has got to have an epic house, right? Well, not me. I live inside the build dojo over here. This is where I hone my craft. This is my base. But don't let the looks deceive you. Because this base is a lot bigger on the inside. So without further ado, let's look and see what that looks like.
I told you there was a lot more that meets the eye inside my base. Pretty cool, huh? Let's segue back over to the nether because there's quite a bit more to see over there, including a perimeter that I'm working on. Do you have a favorite build yet? Let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you leave a like. Consider subscribing. Well, let's get back into it. Well, that was my nether hub, and this is the lack of my wither skelly farm. I used to have an actual wither skelly farm in here way back in the day, and it used to be completely filled with lava, but I most like I recently got rid of all the lava and started building up the area. Come on, that would have been so casual. Hold on. I got a really cool idea. Oh, you didn't. Bruh. Anyways. I got a really cool idea for this whole area. I'm going to make my own version of Gotham City. So it's going to be like a dark gothic looking city inside of this entire vicinity, which I think is going to look absolutely epic. I'm working on putting all the black concrete throughout the walls. And I'm also going to do the ceiling as well because I have a really cool effect that I want to try to play in here. Look at it like this. So this will be the top of a skyscraper right here and we'll walk in kind of like Batman. And then there'll be a big giant build right here that's going to house my wither skelly farm. And if you guys are interested, here's some really cool clips and footage of the entire process so far. So obviously I'm very excited to start that project and for that to all be finished, but where did it all begin? What was my very first mega build in this world?
those were a few of the early on builds that I built in the world. But this is the very first one, the Ocean Monument. This was a testament of time, of draining out this entire area. Back then, I thought this was a massive project. On the inside of here, I call this the Terra Temple. This is where I farm up a bunch of like micro stuff. Like if I want to get like petals or snowballs, flowers, glowberries, sweet berries, lichen, bamboo, you name it, it can all be found here. And then, of course, my desk. This is where I start and end every single one of my live streams. Everything that's significant. I got all my Mario stuff. This is where I keep all my trims and extra stuff to make, like, the actual trims themselves. Then I got a couple things here, like my one year of uh, playtime in the world. My very first movie that ever came out. My two years without a totem. This one right here was my one year. And then I've got a couple like really like rare things in the world. This is my very first ancient debris of the wither skeleton dig. Uh, my one millionth stone. Uh, this is my five years on Twitch. Of course, this is just rare. And then this was the very last block that I mined in the end. Behind me, obviously, I'm a big fan of Zelda. You can tell from my skin. A little bit more of a steampunk version of that type of deal. And I got a little bit of things like in the background here. We've killed the warden. We have our one million trades with villagers, which was a testament right there. A little bit of Star Wars stuff around here. Some Canadians because I am Canadian for those of you guys who didn't know. But there are a little bit more things to see in this world. And I want to show you guys, including a massive trident farm and an incredible underwater town. One major thing you guys will notice about me is this world is ever-changing. Just because you've seen the world tour once doesn't mean you've seen everything. I'm always consistently coming back to these builds, I'm revamping builds, and I'm connecting storylines with one another. 
So if some areas of my world look like they're underdeveloped, that's because they are. And remember, every single build that you start starts off with the one block that you place down. The Masa and the Skull Clans is a perfect example of that. I have a lot to expand and a lot to grow over here, but it all started off with just a Mesa. My vision is to expand the Skull Clans behind me to have numerous mega builds in it. We have the castle, the factory. I plan to expand the Skull Clans all the way out there where I've got a really cool build that's going to take over that desert. But of course, all these things take a lot of time. A lot of forests I want to build, lots of lakes I want to build, and lots of mega builds that I want to build. But I know that good things do take time. But if I look back 10,000 hours, and I look back at my very first episode that I ever started on YouTube, where I was proud of the dojo that I built, being my very first circle in Minecraft, and then look up at the things that I'm building 40,000 days later, I would have never imagined this moment. So I would like to take a moment to thank each and every single one of you guys for being here today and allowing me to build up such an incredible world. We're about to go into a very special segment of the video, and I hope you guys all enjoy that. So while we head on over there, let me know what your guys' favorite build was out of the entire world tour. We're about to segue into the Hall of Fame and everybody who's helped me get to the point that I'm at today. And if you guys want this video to blow up, then you know what to do. Like, comment, and share this with all your friends. And if you made it to this part of the video, put a one inside the comment section down below so I know you made it to this part of the video. And the people around me in the halls are all individuals who have helped me get to the point that I'm at today. And speaking of all the individuals who have helped me get to the point that I'm at today, well, all I have to say is thank you. the heck you're still here go touch grass or check out this next video